Hi and welcome to another Vengeance Producer Suite Avenger product video. And uh, this time I would like to show you the mod matrix, which you can see here. Um, the mod matrix is the heart of the sound design. You can do every modulation possible in Avenger. Um, you can modulate anything with everything. And since this is so complex, we tried our best to do it as easy as possible. So basically, whenever you see these six dots here on the tab, you see one, two, three, four, five, six pins, then this is a um, mod source, which you can drag and drop to a mod target. For example, I want to um, modulate the transpose with the LFO, I simply drag and drop the, LF, uh, the LFO to the transpose. Then you can see an orange triangle will appear, which you can click, and now you can set uh, the modulation depth. So let's hear how this sounds. As you can hear, the, uh, the LFO modulates the transpose. And there's a new entry in our mod matrix, which says the, uh, the LFO1, which was this, modulates oscillator one transpose, which is this. And this is the depth which you set up here with the orange triangle. If you want to delete the modulation, you can right click on the triangle and then hit the red X. Or of course you can delete it in the mod matrix by selecting the empty space. You can add more targets on the same source group. For example, the LFO can modulate the cutoff too. So you can see now the LFA, uh, LFO modulates two targets, the transpose and the cutoff. You can have as many as you want. Additionally, uh, we can also modulate the FM. And of course, you can change the speed of the LFO. If you select this, uh, this is quarter synced. As you can see in the readout here, which speed. This is uh, triplet. And this is dotted. And if you turn it off, it's free. So without any steps. Um, you can select your shape in the LFO, in the LFO um, by just clicking on the waveform here. This is random, by the way. And this is um, smooth random. And these three here are actually special because that's a custom LFO. This means you can define your own curve here. And as you can see now, this curve is now here for selection. Also, this curve can be selected here now or as an FM source. You can add as many points as we want. And as you can see, the waveform now updates its graphic and it's ready for selecting on all sources like FM or vibrato. So let's get back to the shape. Select. Ah, by the way, there's a one shot. So the uh, the LFO only plays once and then stops. This is the offset. So you can see now it's only the upper half of the modulation. 
and if you move the offset down it's the lower half of the modulation the phase is the starting phase of your modulation and there's also the possibility to add a delay or a fade in and even the curve of the fade in can be set here uh, another special thing is that you can select how the oscillator uh, how the LFO should be triggered in free mode it means it runs all the time while you play and first MIDI note means that it starts with the first MIDI note you hit and OSC means all OSCs you press, all voices you press, if you press a chord each note of the chord has its own LFO and its own modulation of the LFO. Also you can trigger it by the drum sequencer, for example the bass drum can trigger it or an arpeggiator note can trigger it or here special specialized drum samples, like I said the bass drum for example. Cool for, for sidechain effects uh, when you have, uh, for example, this for uh, applying a side chain, then you can trigger it here with the bass drum. So, but that's enough for the LFO. We want to uh, take a closer look to the mod matrix. Uh, as you can see, we have organized it in groups. So, these three targets are all assigned to the LFO one at the moment. So you can collapse it or collapse all to have a better overview. But the main thing here is you can switch it, for example, with one click. So the macro one is now the new source, not the LFO anymore. This means you can switch anytime the modulation source or the mod envelope one, which we have here. Now the mod envelope controls the modulation. So, and you can add more things here. Um, there are certain mod targets which are not accessible with the drag and drop system and they can be accessed here. Here you see every, really every parameter which is possible and um, as you can see there are uh, quite a lot. And if you want to add a new source then you can press the plus button here and these are the possible um, modulation sources like your mod wheel would be here inverse mod wheel pitch band. These are the uh, MIDI controllers here. Then there are certain mathematic uh, sources like uh, alternating, incremental or random. The mod envelope we have seen here is, is there. By the way, if you add more mod envelopes, of course they will update here and you have them as a possible source for selection here. The LFO, pitch module, amp filter, oscillator, things, the macro controls, the step sequencer, and even the arpeggiator can be a modulation source. The velocity or the note notes of the ARP can be modulating something. Well, you can bypass um, the mod envelope here or you can delete everything here. And well, yeah, basically that's it. Um, as you can see, you can do many, many things here. And with the drag and drop system, it's really easy to modulate something. Ah, before I forget, let me uh, show you one more thing. You can, of course, modulate other mod matrix slots. What does this mean? Let me show you. Let me uh, let us initialize the preset. We don't need the mod wheel at the moment. Let's assume we want to modulate the pitch with the LFO. Cut off. But not all, all the time you want to modulate with another source the amount. So let's choose the macro one for example. 
and now select as target the mod matrix slot of the LFO2 transpose modulation. You see now that is this is turning yellow. This means this slot modulates this slot with this intensity. So you can see you can now control the amount or the depth of the LFO modulation with the microcontroller. <laughs> Of course, you also can create multiple targets, as you, as, as you already have seen. You can add as many as you like. So, for of course, this is also possible uh, with the mod envelope. Let me quickly show you this too. That this time, let us choose the cutoff, for example. We have the uh, LFO cutoff modulation here, but you want to control with the mod envelope the intensity of this. So let's choose again LFO to cutoff. And you can now see or hear. That the mod envelope, of course, this works the other way too, now controls the intensity of the LFO. What I also would like to show you is the additive and the percentual mode. This you, you can change between the two modes by clicking on this button here in the mod matrix. Mm. And what they do is the, 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 the additive mm. mode means that the modulation is added on the current dial position. Let me show this. Here with the cutoff, uh, we have our initial cutoff position at 50% in the middle. And now I add 100. This means half of the macro dial is used and the rest will clip because there is no more room left. We already reach maximum on the halfway. So I can uh, turn this to 10 o'clock, then the whole thing, then only this last uh, space here is unused. So what can we do? We can switch to per central mode. This means the rest of the way of the cutoff is always 100% and if we have 100 here, then it moves all the way up. And if the cutoff is on zero, then the whole way is again 100% and moves all the way up. And if just this tiny space is left here, uh, does not matter too because this is 100% and it reaches full value with our macro control while the additive would clip here very soon. That's the difference. Um, the last thing I would like to show is the lag parameter here. You have one in each um, modulation row a slot and um, what it does is, is um, it smooths your modulation. Let me demonstrate this with the step sequencer. Let's do a cutoff movement again. As you can see it's very steppy and edgy because it modulates 90 degree here. So now we can smooth it. And again. So this is great for modulations with, which should be a bit laid back to the rest and should be smoothed. So, okay, I think that's all uh, for the mod matrix and LFO section. See you in the next video. Bye.